ROP is still a big challenge and numbers are increasing because the neonatal care is improving and uh, babies are um, at an earlier age and so ROP incidences are uh, getting higher and higher. So um, uh, before the rainbow study, standard of care was laser treatment. Um, however, uh, this multi-center trial with uh, over 200 um, patients uh, demonstrated uh, that um, ranibizumab 0.2 milligram uh, was uh, superior to laser treatment for ROP and uh, actually uh, two days ago the EMA approved uh, ranibizumab uh, 0.2 milligram for the treatment of ROP. The RAINBOW study was a prospective randomized clinical trial with three arms. There were two arms with, treated with ranibizumab, um, 0.1 and 0.2 milligram, and uh, laser treatment in the third arm. And results showed uh, at week 24 that the ranibizumab 0.2 milligram arm was, uh, had the best outcome. And um, uh, actually two days ago, it uh, got approved uh, for the treatment of ROP. OCTA is uh, an emerging uh, tool in uh, the diagnostic of Merkel disease and, and uh, also retina disease uh, since we are now with the newer devices able to not only look at the macula but look at a broader uh, field. Um, I think it is a, uh, a very important puzzle in multimodal imaging and uh, gives us a new insight into the pathology of diseases. With OCTA, you not only have the possibility to have additional um, image information, but you can also use it to quantify vessel density. And this gives a completely new insight, not only into ophthalmology, but also into other systemic diseases where microcirculation plays a big role. So with OCTA, you can detect very small changes in microcirculation within the eye, but uh, dependent on systemic diseases.